What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. And as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm talking about some Yashahime news. Now I actually didn't even really hear about this news until I saw it on my friend's Instagram story. So Bunny Choi, thanks so much for your Instagram story. And also if you haven't checked out Bunny Choi's uh, Instagram, please do. She's an amazing girl. I love her Instagram. It's so pretty, so beautiful and her layouts are utterly amazing. But anyway, onto this Yashahime news. So basically, if you didn't know already, Yashahime is pretty much the sequel story to Inuyasha. And at the time, it did not have a manga that was going to be released with it or it didn't have a manga at all. And basically, Yashahime tells the story of Inuyasha and Sashomaru's daughters as they're kind of going around in feudal Japan, trying to be able to find out what basically happened to their parents. Now, I myself have not finished this series. If you do want to watch it, it is available on Funimation. It is both subbed and and dubbed and like I said I haven't finished it I kind of lost a little bit of interest in it but I am probably going to go back and start re-watching the series because pretty much the series got announced that it is going to have a sequel that is going to start coming out I believe this October but this news is about a manga because one of the things that a lot of people at least for me kind of felt iffy about it was the fact that it did not have a manga counterpart so for me at least the series kind of felt a little bit like haphazard in some ways for me which is probably why I lost a little bit of interest in it but pretty much this news is that it is actually going to be releasing a manga series that will adapt the events of the sequel in September of this year so I'm reading this off of comicbook.com I will of course link the article below if you want to read it and basically what it says is pretty much what I've just said the manga is only going to follow the sequel that's going to come out in October so I don't know how long this manga series is going to be especially because the series is supposed to start coming out in September is the manga series but then the anime is supposed to start coming out in October so you have a month time span between them maybe less depending on the exact date that the manga is supposed to start so I don't know how long it's going to be it's going to be like a one shot like three or four chapters like how long is it going to be we don't know how long the series is going to be so that's the only thing that we don't know and that's the only thing that i'm kind of confused about i actually would have wished that they would have came out with the manga series before they came out with the anime because so i feel like now it's going to get all convoluted especially because there's no manga for the first season but there's a manga series for the second season and I feel like that could have been due to complaints by fans or maybe some feedback that they got that there wasn't a manga counterpart, that there wasn't a manga about it. Who knows? None of us really know the reasons why. But as of right now, that's all the news that we have. Like I said, I haven't finished the anime series. I kind of lost interest in it after a little bit of time, mostly because of this aspect and just because the series just overall just felt strange i don't know why i just kind of had some weird issues with it but i do plan to go back and watch it so i'm looking forward overall to this manga series but i don't know if i'm gonna read it personally because of the reasons like i said like i kind of don't want to read it because it feels so weird they're coming out with the manga for only the second season maybe they'll go back and do a manga series for the first but still i don't know because even then like if the manga is basically going to be the exact same thing as the anime it may not make me even want to read it i don't know this is just a whole lot it's very weird very interesting and i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen but what do you guys think do you guys think this manga series is going to be good things going to be bad are you glad that they're finally coming out with a manga adaptation for this series well at least the second season of this series or do you wish that they would have came out with a manga series just overall before even trying to adapt an, an anime or a sequel anime to Inuyasha um yeah let me know what your thoughts are about this what are your suspicions or your hypothesis about how long this manga series is going to be me personally I could see it maybe being like one volume i can't see it being like multiple volumes unless the manga and the anime are basically just trying to play catch up with each other but i don't see it i don't know i don't see it being super super long just because i don't know if they're going to try to end the manga you know before the series starts or like even like how much of the adaptation of the anime is going to take place of the manga that's already been written you know like or is it going to be super short i don't know there's just so many questions that we do not have answers to regarding this and honestly we probably won't have the answers to them 
for a while or at least until this series come out but yeah what do you guys think because as of right now there's just a lot of questions that we don't have answers to so i'm looking forward to seeing what questions are answered what questions do we still not have answers to and just yeah overall just that but yeah i'm sure i'm sorry this video is so short it's mostly due to the fact that they, we don't have a lot of information right now about this series so we just all are in this kind of like wait and see mentality regarding the second season of Yasha Hime, which to be honest, I'm surprised it actually got a second season. Uh, I heard mixed reviews about Yasha Hime, but like I said, I haven't finished it yet. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, comment below. Of course, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I have my Instagram, my Twitter, and of course my TikTok. So please follow me on there. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying my videos. But yeah, I have a new video out for you guys soon. So like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy. And in today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye.